chapter number 3 roots and flowers of plants in this chapter we will be discussing the importance of roots different types of roots importance of flowers and their parts and different type of flowers before getting into the chapter let's have a little warm up jaya has a big banyan tree in front of our house it has big vines that are hanging from the branches she also made a swing with these vines one day she asked her grandmom why these branches are like vines but her grandmom told the vines that are hanging from the banyan tree are not branches but they are roots have you ever noticed some roots hanging from the banyan tree we have learned what are the different parts of plants but in this chapter we will learn more about roots and flowers of plants just look at the picture of plant the plant lying above the ground is called as shoot system but the parts of plant underneath the ground is known as root system the root system we find the roots of plants under the ground they grow downwards into the soil we can say that the roots grow towards the force of gravity types of roots there are two types of roots of plants tap root and fibrous roots let's now discuss what the tap root is in this type of root we can see one main root called the tap root growing downwards from this many thin roots grow the thin roots that come out of the tap root are called lateral roots the tap root is big and stout compared to the lateral roots it bulges at the top and thins out as it grows downwards plants of carrot beetroot tea people bean etc call have tap roots let's now see what the fibrous roots are fibrous roots are also adventitious roots this type of root does not have any main root dense and equal sized roots develop from the base of the stem the roots spread out as they grow downward in the soil the roots also branch out repeatedly as they grow making a fine mass of thin roots examples of fibrous roots are grass rice palm maple etc let's explore look at all trees and plants around you using an encyclopedia find out which plant have tap roots and which have fibrous roots discuss in the class what you learnt both the tap roots and fibrous roots can go deep into the ground the plants that grow in dry areas have roots which go deep in the ground whereas the plants that grow in water abundant areas have shallow roots did you know that the mistletoe is a parasitic plant it grows on tree branches and its roots penetrate the branches of host tree from where it gets its nutrients and water modification and adaptation in roots in many plants we see that the roots are modified as plants adapt itself to live in certain environment the two major modifications we see in roots are storage roots and aerial roots let's now see what storage roots are plants of carrots radishes sweet potato etc have storage roots these roots are modified to store starch and water these plants have modified their roots to protect themselves from plant eating animals let's now see what aerial roots are have you seen a banyan tree in a banyan tree you will see long thick vine like structure hanging down from the tree branches these vines are the roots these roots give additional support to the tree to stay upright orchards and ferns vines 
like grapevines are the plants which have aerial roots. Another example of aerial roots are the roots of trees we see in mangroves. Here, the roots come out of the ground, especially out of the water to breathe. Roots also need air to breathe. Plants other than aquatic plants cannot grow inside in water because they need air too. So, for some time of the day, the roots of these plants come out of the water where they can get air or oxygen. Let's see what are the functions of roots. Roots fix the plant to the soil. Roots support the plant and help in holding the plant firmly onto the ground. Plants absorb water and mineral nutrients present in the soil through the roots. Roots spread in underground in search of water. Along with the water, they also absorb nutrients. Roots also prevent soil erosion by binding or holding the soil firmly. So, they do not allow the soil to be blown away by wind or washed away by rainwater. Instead of seeds, we can plant the cuttings of fibrous roots into the soil to grow a new plant. We can also grow chrysanthemum, shrubs, carnation, etc. In this manner, we can say that the fibrous roots help us in reproducing. Here is a tidbit for you all. Living root bridges are form tree shaping common in southern part of state of Meghalaya and Nagaland. These roots are handmade from the aerial roots of rubber fig tree. Flowers Flowers grow on stems and they are the most attractive part of plant. They are of different shapes, colors and sizes. Flowers are responsible for creating seeds inside them and these seeds help in growing new plants. This makes a flower reproductive organ of the plant. Some flowers develop into fruits which have seeds inside them. All flowers first start as a bud. A bud is a small swelling like growth on the stem from which a flower develops. A bud is covered by green colored petal like structure called sepals. When the sepals open, we can see the petals inside. Let's now discuss what are the parts of flowers. Colorful petals and green colored sepal generally surround a flower. Sepal. A sepal is green colored and it is the outermost part of the flower. It is the remains of the covering of a bud. A sepal protects the flower when it is inside the bud. Petal. A petal is generally brightly colored. Petals attract insects and other pollinators to the flower. Stamens. Stamens are the male part of the flower and contain the pollen grains. Pollen grains is yellow colored and it is sticky to touch. A stamen is made of two parts, the anther and the filament. Anther holds the pollen grains. The filament is there to hold the anther. Carpels. Carpels are the female part of the flower. They are also called as pistil. A carpel is also called a pistil and is made of three parts. The stigma, style and ovary. The stigma has the sticky part that catches the pollen grain. The style holds the stigma. The ovary contains ovules which become seeds after fertilization. Solitary and cluster flowers. Flowers bloom in single or in groups. Roses, lotuses, lilies, etc. are single or solitary flowers. Flowers bloom on different stems are called single flowers. There are some flowers that bloom in groups or clusters. Gladiolus, sunflower, azalea, daisy are all cluster flowers. In both daisy and sunflower, each petal represents one flower. It means each daisy or sunflower is a bunch of flowers. Here is a science topic for you all. Flowers do not always smell good. Titan arum or corpse flower is one of the world's largest, rarest, smelliest 
and strangest looking flower. It smells like rotting dead body. The flower is over 2 meter height and 3 meter in circumference. They smell like rotting flesh in order to attract flies their pollinators. The odor is so bad that some people faint on smelling it. Let us think. We have read that flowers are reproductive part of plant. We get new plant from flower. But have you noticed that some plants do not have flowers? Haven't you? How do those plants propagate? Pines and conifers that grow in hilly areas do not have flowers. They reproduce through cones. In some plants, we get new plants by planting the cuttings of roots. Sometimes, we get new plants by stem cutting. If we plant potatoes, onions, etc. in the ground, we get new plants. Find out in how many ways gardener gets new plants without using seeds. Functions of flower Flower is the reproductive part of the plant. It is essential for the creation of new plant. We use flowers in variety of ways. Roses and jasmines are used for making perfumes. Cauliflower, broccoli and banana flowers are edible. We get spices from flowers like saffron or kesar from crocus flower and cloves are the dry flower bud. We use flowers for decoration and for making bouquets, garlands and rangoli. Here is the glossary of this chapter. Propagate to produce a new plant from the parent plant. Stout, fat or heavy built. Bouquet, flower arrangements. Here is the mind map of this chapter. Plants, plant is divided into two systems, shoot system and root system. Root system is further divided into two types, tap roots, fibrous or adventitious roots. There are two major modifications of roots. They are storage roots and aerial roots. Flowers. There are different parts of flowers. Sepals, petals, stamens, carpel or pistil. There are two different parts of stamen. Anther and filament. Carpel is divided into three parts. Stigma, style, and ovary.